Welcome back, construction enthusiasts, to the MSN Construction YouTube channel. And today we have an exciting topic to delve into. We'll be discussing beam design using the British Standard Code of Practice, BS 8110. So, let's jump right in. Before we get started, let's quickly understand what beam design entails. Beams play a crucial role in supporting loads within structures, ensuring their stability and integrity. Designing beams properly is essential to ensure the safety and efficiency of any construction project. In the United Kingdom, beam design follows the British Standard Code of Practice, known as BS 8110. Same code we follow in Sri Lanka as well. This code provides guidelines and procedures for the design of reinforced concrete structures, including beams. It considers various factors such as material properties, loadings, and design principles to ensure structural adequacy. Let's explore some key steps involved in beam design using BS 8110. Step 1. Loading Conditions The first step is to determine the loading conditions acting on the beam. This includes considering dead loads, live loads, and any other relevant loads that may affect the beam's performance. By accurately identifying these loads, we can move on to the next step. Step 2. Load Calculations In this step, we calculate the magnitude and distribution of loads acting on the beam. This involves analyzing the structure's overall design, considering factors such as occupancy, purpose, and expected usage. It's important to carefully assess the loads to avoid any under or over design of the beam. Step 3. Material Properties To proceed with beam design, we need to determine the properties of the materials involved, particularly the concrete and reinforcement. This includes obtaining information about the concrete strength, steel reinforcement properties, and any other relevant material characteristics. These details will help us ensure the beam's strength and durability. Step 4. Design Considerations BS 8110 provides design considerations to ensure the beam can resist the applied loads while maintaining its serviceability. This includes factors such as deflection limits, crack control, and overall structural behavior. Following these guidelines helps create a well-designed beam that meets safety and performance requirements. Step 5. Beam Analysis and Design once we have all the necessary information, we can proceed with the structural analysis and design of the beam. This involves calculations to determine the required reinforcement, the beam's dimensions, and the arrangement of reinforcement bars. It's important to consider factors such as shear, moment, and torsion to ensure the beam can handle the applied loads effectively. Step 6. Detailing and Construction after completing the design, we move on to the detailing phase. This involves specifying the exact arrangement and sizes of reinforcement bars in the beam. Accurate detailing is crucial for ensuring proper structural behavior and efficient construction. It's essential to follow BS 8110 guidelines to ensure the reinforced concrete beam performs as intended. And that wraps up our overview of beam design with BS 8110. By following this code of practice, we can design beams that meet safety requirements and provide reliable support within structures. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the MSN Construction channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, keep constructing and innovating. See you soon with another video session.